to bring on a trip like this. Yeah, it's amazing. How to do it? Very nice. Something to eat. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> She's slightly spoiled. By the tension. You know, this is a hard life. Yeah. Walking, walking, of uh, course. I, uh, and then you should do real well to sit in uh -huh. the, the, the fan. And uh, you can't have too many rules. No. More than. And she's very outgoing. I want her to meet, you know, talk to people. I don't run after her. Mm -hmm. I let the. You know, like Georgia was kind of worried initially when hey. she could use knives and stuff oh, thank like you that. So much. You're really nice. You were one. You're really nice. You're a princess. Are you a princess? Oh, you are a princess. Maria, she's from Russia. Do you remember when we flew to Moscow and then to Yakutsk? How little you were then. Do you, do you ever miss Russia? Uh, actually, I travel quite often, so I don't really get a chance to miss it. But yeah, I love Russia, I love England, I love everywhere I am at the moment. It's just, I love the universe, generally. <laughs> so whatever happens, it's just supposed to happen. Uh, oh, thank you. Do you want something to drink? No, thank you. I'm so tell me when you, you first came here. Uh, when was this and what kind of, what were your, your hopes? Well, or initially, to be honest, it happened just spontaneously. I didn't, it happened very quickly. I came here to study and I did a master's degree in tourism initially because this is where I worked before. But just as I started, I felt this sudden urge, very strong urge to discover the spiritual world and um, different alternative techniques and metaphysics and meditation. So I really felt I needed to go into this. I didn't know how, I didn't know where, but I started doing it and then slowly it developed into what I'm doing now, like all these techniques and uh, workshops. Was this something that you were interested in, in before you came? Uh, not consciously, no. No, I was more on the ordinary path. I was doing office jobs, and but I always felt there was something bigger waiting for me. I didn't know what. In London? No, I didn't know it will happen in London. I was not aware of that, but I knew uh, something big was waiting and uh, it happened so that London brought it to me, that the UK brought it to me, because I believe it is a place with a lot of inspiration, a lot of beautiful energies, diverse energies, diverse cultures, and just the nature, and I feel very happy here. The nature, you said, but the nature here is nothing like that where you come from. That's true. <laughs> well, I come from Moscow, so in Moscow itself, uh, I should say, London has ma many more parks and many more beautiful mm. spots than... So I haven't really explored Russia as such fully in its own way. But for me, there is something here. There is a certain vibration about London, which just makes me feel very, very good, which just draws people in. You know how people feel really at home here for some reason? They don't know why they feel they want to stay here. I, I felt the same. So I'm really happy to be here and doing my work in this place. So you came here initially as a, a, a tour guide? Then. No. I was thinking about uh, Anna. Who... Ah, Anna, my friend, yes. No, uh, I came to study, so I didn't work in the beginning. I just studied. I did a master's degree. But as soon as I started, I felt I have to discover spirituality. That's, that's what I need to do. So that's what I'm doing now. So the okay. life totally changed. So tell us a bit uh, what happened. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, I discovered a technique which I started practicing called quantum healing hypnosis. And that's a very interesting technique, which is kind of hypnotherapy technique. When uh, people experience past lives, so it has a past life regression element, and then we, we're able to speak to their subconscious, to the subconscious mind or the higher self. So it is a healing technique where people can understand more about what happened to them in the past and how that can help them in the present. And uh, I had many, many clients over this time and every session is like a new book. So you get to know about different history periods, you understand how our lives are linked, how the souls travel through time and space, so it has like reincarnation element into this. And uh, <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. <laughs> 
I really like it. Wow, what have you done here? Wonderful. Very nice cooking. Dana knows how to cook. I really like it. It's very good. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Very nice. Yes. This is almost part of that unicorn. Yeah. That's beautiful. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, because it makes you more relaxed and that's part of life. Yeah, that's true. I love it. Wow. So how, how do you find your the other people who they, they, they're looking for what you are uh, Well, I have a website. They can find me there. Uh, so that's uh, because you, I see you have a lot of people all the time. And I was, is yes. these people you knew before or that you've come uh, across during your time? Sometimes, because I organize events as well. So one of the things I do is also called energy communication. So it's something to do with the hands, when we learn to feel the energy with the hands and not to use the voice as much, but feel things more. Feel, for example, touch another person's hand and feel what energy comes out of there. Touch a tree and talk to the tree with the energy, you know, and all different aspects, building stones. So this is another thing that I do. I just came from another workshop of mine, which I organized. So we were doing all kinds of interesting uh, exercises there, you know, eye communication, looking person into the eyes, understanding what you see there, energy communication, that kind of thing. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's really good. You're a really, really lovely being. Uh, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Little traveler. Little princess. Oh, that's wonderful. You know, uh, her grandmother was. Uh, well, you, you know, the, 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 the Lao people are considered mm -hmm. coming from Siberia. Uh huh, uh huh. And the grandmother of the Anna was a. Uh, well, you know, we call them shamans. Mm, was she? And I think that she has. Your she must be. She's a very extraordinary guy. I think so. Uh-huh. These guys do not know about it. Okay. Uh-huh. Because uh -huh. what you are talking about is to start the dream. Uh-huh. What the shamans are doing. Mm -hmm. or, uh, as soon as I did that, no. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think so. And especially that she's now able to travel so much and she sees so many things. I think it as well has an effect because she becomes very aware of what's happening in the world, of the people. I can see it, by the way, Dana communicates. And children, they're amazing. They just, they don't know how to speak yet, but they speak. They speak in their own way. They understand in their own way. So I really believe that in many cases, children are here to teach us <laughs> sometimes more than we teach them. Yeah. Well, that's why it's been such a fantastic journey. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Even if it's been hard as well, this should be set. Uh -huh. Because oh. as you can see, she's... Banana. Oh, wonderful. Banana. You obviously think that Maria is very hungry. <laughs> <laughs> well, sounds like a good idea. Thank you very much. It's amazing. I'm going to try that. Done. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. No, it's okay, I'll take it. I'll take it, I'll keep it. <laughs> mm, very nice. Mm. You obviously are very... No, it's okay, thanks so much. Thank you. <laughs> uh, very trustful and mm. So thank how has that been coming uh, to London? Okay, London is 
Sometimes I find it. Um, People are very controlled, very strange. Mm -hmm. Okay. What do you think? To be honest, um, uh, maybe I felt it a little bit when I first came here, but now um, working with spiritual things, I just understand that in whatever communication you have with people, you have to spread the light. That's all you can do. And then it can reach other people and people will open up more to communication. So I really don't feel any problem with that now. I just prefer, you know, it's more important to work on yourself first and then I think the whole world will, will transform around. <laughs> I'm talking from a bit spiritual perspective now. But generally, I feel fine. It, it doesn't, doesn't bother me in any, in any way because I, I'm so in love with London. I'm so in love with every moment of it, every place, every tree, every child. It's amazing. It's superb. And I can't stop being in love. I discover new things every time. There is new depths, new layers uh, all the time, new dimensions. So I don't think I'll ever stop loving it. <laughs> Have you been, been outside uh, London and uh, in, in the UK, you mean, around? I've been a little bit, yes, in in the cities around, like little towns as well. Uh, they're very nice. I like Oxford, uh, Winchester. I like all places with history, with old energy, where you can explore and talk to buildings and understand what they're all about. And uh, yeah, magical place. Lots of magical places here. Absolutely. Oh, that fashion, I think, uh, that you uh, to a certain degree that you found it in that city. But I'm not surprised it's London, mm. because it's such a diverse area. London is amazing. Before I came to London, I thought I was in love with New York. I used to go to New York, and I thought that's the ultimate point. But since I'm in London, I don't want to change it for anything. Every time I go to another country and city, it's nice, I like it, I find its own pleasure, but it's only here when I feel totally at home. And I'm always inspired. Why is it? Is it how much of that is the people? Uh, I think quite a lot. I think it's the diversity and the openness of people. People are open to see other cultures and it's beautiful. I think it's teaching us all a big lesson, how to be tolerant, how to see how other people live, you know. And uh, there is this, because there, is, there are so many tourists here as well, it's always a vibe of celebration, of holiday, uh, of happiness. And I do find this place amazing and the people and nature all together. So when you go back to Moscow, for example, yes. do you find them less tolerant, is it less diverse? It's much less diverse, definitely. It's um, not as cosmopolitan as London. Um, Moscow, uh, well, it's my home city. I love Moscow and uh, I have lots of memories attached to it. But uh, how can I say? It's got a different history. It's got different, maybe harder history before. So people still carry a bit of um, memory, people still carry a bit of, how can I say, um, memory imprints on them. So some people are sad, still, especially older generations, they can get into a habit of being a bit maybe uh, upset or maybe not as happy as people are here. I don't know, but uh, every time I go there I try to be happy and spread the light as much as I can so but it's different of course it is different and everybody feels it but things are changing things are gonna change I'm sure I would rather live in Russia than I would than live here really why like you like the people the are okay the most fantastic people I've uh -huh. across, but I like most I just feel very comfortable in Russia Maybe because I'm from the north of Sweden and there's maybe. similarities. Maybe it's that, maybe. But I think they're more, they're warmer, more open. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Russian people, uh, they're sincere. They are what they are. Yeah. That's and what I like about them, too. Right. I mean, of course, I do love uh, absolutely Russian people. I've got so many Russian friends. And we do understand each other on a soul level. For example, if I walk on the street, I see a Russian person, I would know it's a Russian person because wow. we, in the eyes, in the way they walk, in the way they think, I can pick, easier. absolutely. 
we can pick each other. Maybe some of them are not conscious they can, but we, we understand each other, we can see. And uh, they're amazing people, they're very deep. They have very deep souls, they're old souls. And uh, as I said, and you can go into deep discussions with them, you can become friends easily, they're warm, they can help. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah, but it's the same, I can pick a sweet you know, from anywhere because mm -hmm. they have this special choice of car, special behavior, yes, yes, the way yes. they look at things. Yes, so, absolutely. absolutely. Uh, have you ever, you know, you've come down to the troubled to many immigrant cities. Um, okay. Uh -huh. Most of all, I, I, I really like it myself. Mm -hmm. And uh, we come across uh, Russians, uh, East Europeans, and some of them seem to be having a hard time being Russian, East European, and Is that anything? Mm -hmm. have you, <laughs> uh, what do what do they say? I mean. Ah, you mean for local people? Oh yes, yes, I believe so. Of course, it must be very frustrating when. But I mean, now uh, London has become to such an extent that it's all people from different countries. So you can't no longer. I mean, I think there are so few actual native people here in London, especially. It's all many people who are guests here still. And uh, yes, I believe it can be frustrating for local people. Um, I don't know, to be honest. Uh, but they have that view, have you ever felt that it's been a problem being Russian in the um, Personally, me not. But, but I, I don't feel uncomfortable. I try to stay positive, uh, even if I feel something. I will just transform that feeling into a positive feeling. Why? Why linger to something that you don't want to, to have in your life? So um, I tend to look at it wisely, you know? Things are happening the way they're supposed to happen. And uh, we just take them as they are and try to spread positive attitude all around. That's all we can do. <laughs> She's very good at it. She's good at spreading the world as well. She, she, she knows where to go. Whom to come to. You said in a message to me yesterday, you left us near because of Why did you get What did you think? Uh, first of all, I was interested and curious to see uh, because the things that you do are amazing. You're traveling your expeditions, the way you present yourself to the world, I find it interesting. I wanted to connect with that energy. And uh, I like your energy. I feel your and your colleagues and your daughter, uh, I feel it even without talking to you. So I wanted to physically experience it. See, see what it feels like. And it's exactly what I thought it would be. Yeah? Yeah. It's exactly the same. No. <laughs> I always say what I really think. <laughs> That's that's part of the Russian thing, I guess. Yeah. yeah. We, we are heading back to my wife. She has uh, she fell in love with Russia. Mm -hmm. so got completely lost. That's why we came to Manchester for her to redo her. Mm -hmm. Now she's going for a PhD. Uh, when she was in the uh, mm -hmm. Middle East, now it's Russia and East. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we're uh -huh. heading off for Kazakhstan, uh, just next to the Siberian border for six months. You six know? months, yeah. okay. So you're moving all the time. Yeah. So I'll no left. more side anymore? No, no. I left it. We will not you left it already? Yeah, we ah, it okay. Wonderful. So, you know, they are coming tomorrow. So we fly back to Miami and then okay. to Africa for a month. Oh, that's amazing. Oh, that's amazing. Because you didn't like it in Mossad, did you? It was hard in the beginning. Uh -huh. It was hard because I came from Vienna. Uh -huh. 
life and no matter what I need so many things to feel mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it was only pain bro you know I mean, mm -hmm. we know you and me what is called this mm -hmm. yeah. these houses here mm -hmm. yeah, there's no heating inside and you can't afford yeah, it it's so you, you know I was just the same as like people think I'm joking saying it's colder than inside there <laughs> It is. Mm -hmm. I would say it was a terrible year, and I've never seen this poverty uh -huh. in, in a Western. I've never ever. It's an experience. Been, yeah. Mm -hmm. But then you know, I started to see, you know, most of my friends are, are Somalis, and uh, you know, I, I found a, a, a totally new. I was in shock for three months. Mm -hmm. and I started with the north, and of then course. I came out of it and. I fell in love with other people, so a lot of social. Okay, uh huh. So I came out like you, I found uh -huh, uh -huh. something good. Nice, nice yogurt. You like it? Oh. Dana, you are such a <laughs> needle to entertain. I love Dana's hair, they're very, very beautiful. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I wanted it to hold on, but you eat it. <laughs> you eat it, they are, of course. And then I was very lucky, you know, I was looking for somebody to join me. Yes. And uh, I've been looking for such a long time, and uh, Georgia is like a god in many ways. I'm one of my best friends. Amazing. Uh, Oh, yeah. I can see that, yeah. Amazing. Did you? I bet you did it. And how was that, uh, the whole walk? Yes. What was it like? Um, we have a, a, a common friend. Uh -huh. So um, I just finished a job um, and Michael was looking for someone to join him for two months. And um, so our common friend said, well, it would be ideal timing. Um, and, um, you know, well, well, that's the wipes gone. Why not? Oh, it's not every day you get an opportunity to see. So it was two months in total, the whole walk? Yeah. Wow. Amazing. In the meantime, we've been mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Superb. We are not physically tired. We are I'm mentally, mentally worn out. Really? Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. I'm happy you are here to reinstate some <laughs> Yes, yes, yes. Balance energies. Yeah. Yeah, it must be difficult because you get in touch with so many different people and experiences, oh, everything that you some get. Some like us, some don't like us. So you're there. Some really? For a lot of people we in fear of the unknown. Oh, which is a good thing to do. <laughs> well, some people think we are homeless because Really? Ah but okay. Okay. And some people, you know, they feel uncomfortable dealing with things they do not understand. Of course. Which you are well uh -huh. Amazing. Oh. So you have to deal with all these, these things, the <laughs> which is very interesting in every way. So you really get to know our people in the country, but it it, 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 it makes a, it makes you very tired. And Georgia, she's one of these extraordinary human beings. Uh, I think you and me are very similar. I'm not very much for small details. I'm, I'm a visionary and I do my mm -hmm. things and then I forget about the rest. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, Georgia, uh, you know, she deals with all this. Mm -hmm. in a, like helping me with Dana. Oh, that's very good. So it's been a fantastic trip. It, it's been, a, yeah. Well, congratulations. But now, you know, we are now we are too, too tired. To, uh, because we, we, you know, you live at all like this. Uh, you, you can't wash. Not yes. that it bothers me, but it's yeah. more of, for a girl. Yeah. Uh, it's more of a girl. 
I'm so glad to see you because the things that you've been posting and uh, all these little things like those pink uh, boots, I've been seeing them in many pictures and the pink boots. now it looks like uh, the dream came true, like the reality, you know, it came from the screen to the reality and I really like it. So you saw the boots, yeah, you even commented on them once. When the 